John Durrant, you are an estate agent who've been in the game for over 50 years. What mistakes have you seen estate agents make over the years and what can estate agents do to ensure they don't repeat them? Talk to me. Yeah, well, it's, it's best to talk about um, what's happened in recent years, uh, really. And I think that uh, the biggest mistake, or one of the biggest estates, uh, mistakes, is um, for estate agents to allow tech to make them lazy um, and, um, you know, d not speaking to, uh, to clients enough, not speaking to prospective buyers enough, um, it's, uh, it's, and not feeding back to vendors enough about, you know, why somebody hasn't been interested in... Viewing in, feedback and vendor contact, feedback. my yeah. God. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I mean, it's it's, it's laughable. I, I I really don't know. Um, I, I really don't know why there are agents who 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 don't do that. Okay. I know that there are some brilliant agents uh, who do do that. So I don't want to get knocked about. No. In the comments, um, but, but the, 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 obviously you you get a range of people. You get the okay. bucket shops. Um, and uh, probably those are chosen because of the I mean, commissioners. Do, do you think a lot of people assume that tech will do it all? Uh, yes, um, I think that's uh, that's very much the case. I think if um, if you've got a CRM system that's that's sending out mailing lists, etc., um, and uh, you get uh, you know viewing feedback um, uh, logged onto the system, and maybe mm. um, then that's that's it. But it's not really the same as as saying to a vendor, actually, you know, I think. I think um, we might be needing to readjust the price here um, and do something about it if you want to get the property sold. Uh, you know, how do you feel about things? Uh, ask them questions about how, you, how they feel about um, uh, you know, how things are working out. In a previous video, John, you mentioned there were estate agents who were taking on overpriced properties while, during inflationary times. Yeah. Do you think that could happen again? That, is that another mistake? Yeah, I, I think um, at the time we were really naive. Um, and I think that the danger is that agents will be really naive this time. I think, again, you get a variety of estate agents, some people who are bright and some people who are not. Um, and I think that the danger is that the people who are not um, will uh, they'll exacerbate the issue um, because what they'll do yeah. is they'll end up with loads of houses for sale um, okay. and, and not being able to sell them. And that will make it appear that the supply and demand thing is... Um, you know, has gone gone crazy, um, where you have a, a massive oversupply of properties, and in fact there isn't, uh, because those those properties are really overpriced, um, and they shouldn't be on the market. Uh, before we switch the cameras on, you also said a big mistake estate agents make is that they keep saying that property is a people business, and, and it's something else. What did you mean by that? Please explain that to the boys and girls in estate agency land. Well, to say that. Um, Estate agency is a people business. It's a bit like saying that Michelle, Michelle Rue or the Rue brothers warm up food. Um, there is a lot more to estate agency than uh, being you know, nice um, and winning an instruction mm -hmm. um, or even getting an offer out of somebody. There is more to estate agency than that. There is the, the marketing process. A lot of people, if you talk to estate agency about um, property sales, they'll know that they're in property sales, but they won't realise they're in property marketing and sales. And property marketing and sales is all about getting um, interest in the property in the first place. So you've got, to, uh, you've got to show that property, you've got to appeal to the emotions of people. One of the um, things that Knight Frank did um, when I was photographing for them um, was they sacked a third of their photographers and they invited us two thirds up to uh, Baker Street, uh, where they... Um, proceeded to tell us how to photograph property which I thought was hilarious but the one good takeaway that I took from that was it's about creating an emotion uh, a positive emotion in somebody so what you're looking at is how do you create an emotion in people that makes them actually want to go and see the property right move um, did a blog probably about 10 years ago where they actually showed a property that was photographed well and the same property photographed badly the property that was photographed well had four times the number of inquiries. Oh. Um, it's just so, so obvious, isn't it, that, that, um, that you know, the better you are at property marketing and sales, then, then the better well, it, It's interesting. I, be. I, um, I used to do an experiment when I was an estate agent by dropping in the blue skies on, on Photoshop, mm. and you used to get twice, if not 
you know, dub, you know, more than double, triple the number of yeah. people clicking on it. And we all know the more people that click on it, the more people that would want the brochure, the more people want to view it, the more chance you've got to selling. I mean, if you think about it, if the last couple of years, 2020, 21, 22, market, property marketing hasn't been particularly that important because... No. But, it, but if the market's going to harden, which it... it in 23, which it will do, yeah. these skills are going to have to be learned pretty quickly, aren't they? It's been like shooting fish in a barrel up until now. Um, but going forward, um, agents are going to have to learn pretty quickly to attract the right types of properties and to attract the best buyers. There is only one agent that I knew in all of my um, years career as an estate agent uh, who, was, who got their own personality alone. Um, and that's a guy called Martin Gibbs, who sadly died now. He was 46 when he died. Um, he was so scruffy uh, when he joined me um, that I had to buy him a couple of suits. Um, and, uh, but he was a, a real character. I remember there was one occasion where um, he said um, to somebody, or oh, Mrs. Bloggs, I've got some good news and some, got some bad news. Which do you want first? Which do you want the bad news? He said, well, your house sale has just fallen through. What's the good news? And he said, will you marry me? By this time, I was hiding under the desk. <laughs> but he was, he was a, a real character. He ended up as um, MD of a company called Mansbridge and Belmont in Tavistock. Um, he would wear loud shirts and Dennis and Menace ties. He was a loud, fun person to be around. And as an estate agent, he was, he got there on personality alone. One out of all of the hundreds and thousands of estate agents that I've known, uh, that I would, I would say, actually, you probably didn't need the marketing. Everybody else bloody well does. Um, they really do, um, particularly now. Other mistakes? A professional, measured attitude uh, when times get tough is always going to see you through. It's the cynical um, agents, the ones that think that they can play the market, they're the ones that are going to go bust. Um, thank God, uh, the bucket shops and people who really shouldn't be in estate agency in the first place. As I, I, I love estate agents. I love estate agency. I just couldn't do it um, after, after 37 years of, of doing it. And it really hurts when I see people do things unprofessionally. And, you know, there, 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 there are, there's one firm closed down in our village, um, you know, for, for uh, doing okay. stuff that was completely unprofessional okay so. final thoughts um one i just want to throw into the to the thing is uh, do you think portals have been a mistake for a state agency not a mistake um i think they've been badly used um by a state agency. i think portals uh, are successful at getting properties out to uh, mm -hmm. to, be, to be seen by millions of people okay. um but i think the mistake is in thinking that the portals alone are going to sell your house uh, for you or to achieve the okay. best price. It's interesting. I, I, I agree with you on that one. I'd like to add something else on top. I think a mistake that most estate agents make is they see the portals as a lead machine for vendors. Uh, okay, how, how would you explain that? They, so they, 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 the estate agents want to get more leads, so therefore they rely on leads or they think by going on right move and having the fancy packages, they'll get more vendor leads. It's a bit like auto trader trying to sell to garages. Just because you're selling more houses, selling more cars, isn't going to mean more cars are going to come to you to sell. Yeah. And it's the same with houses. Whereas I would strip that back and say, well, actually, it's your property marketing that is going to help you uh, to attract better vendors. If you look at um, Mike Frank and Savills, it's the vendors that pay for that and it's the brands that benefit. Uh, the vendors, of course, get fantastic. Um, you know, brochures, etc., and photography, um, mine. Um, but um, but it's the brands that benefit, like Frank and, and Savills. Mm -hmm. They've been doing this for years. They're the professionals, aren't they? They're the professionals at the country. And and you know, country house marketing, yeah, is one thing. And you might think, well, you know, for two hundred fifty thousand pound house, is it worth it? But yes, it is, uh, because two hundred fifty thousand pounds is a hell of a lot of money in anybody's book. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, t so going back to the mm -hmm. cornflakes um, analogy. Um, bright colored boxes, houses, um, you know, even cars that are worth a tenth of the value. Uh, they, they have, I, of course, the marketing is different because they have one Fiesta type car or whatever. Um, and that same brochure is used for all of them. But, um, but the, the price differential is 10 times. And yet you have photographs and copy which is so badly written, um, boasting, a three, boasting three bedrooms or whatever. I, it's, it's, it's just 
not good enough. Thank you for your time today. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Thank <laughs> you.